Hello, and welcome to the HEAT software short video series. My name is Renee Gonzalez, and I'm joined by my colleague, Beltran. And today we're going to be covering the topic on the inventory gathering capabilities within HEAT and LandRev. So, Bal, when I'm chatting with customers, part of the problems that they share with me is the IT department is too reactive, meaning a typical problem is the end user has to first identify or report the problem, submit the ticket. Uh, IT gets the ticket and tries to respond or resolve that problem. And then that, that workflow can take hours or sometimes days. Can you explain or show me how Heat LandRam can make the IT department more proactive versus reactive? Sure, Renee. Uh, LandRam has hundreds and hundreds of information items. Now, some of them are the prototypical ones that you expect, how much physical RAM is in a particular computer, for example, how big is the hard drive, you know, what operating system and service pack is on the client device. But we can actually also report on certain items that allow you to be more proactive in terms of client management, essentially to detect issues before the user is even aware of them. That way you can sort of head off these problems at the past. For example, uh, laptops. They all have batteries in them and eventually those batteries will go bad. It's simply a matter of when, right? And so there's information items that will actually tell you, uh, you know, what the serial number of the battery is, how much that battery can charge as compared to its original capacity. So if you can't charge past 50%, I would consider that a bad battery. I need to get that user a, a, a new battery at some point, right? Other information items, you know, smart status. That's a really important one. You know, what if your hard drive is about to go bad? The smart chip is reporting that the hard drive is gonna go bad, but you don't quite have bad sector. So the user hasn't lost any of their mission critical data yet, right? but you want to get that data off as soon as possible. That, that seems interesting. Can, can you show me how that looks like? Sure. So I've got some sample smart groups here. Just to give you an example of what it actually looks like. So this one, uh, these smart groups are in plain English. There's no query language you have to learn. It's basically what is the information item, uh, the comparison value, and you know, uh, what do you want to compare it to on the right-hand side. So using an example before, you know, battery, uh, percentage of original capacity is less than 50%. I'm going to consider that a bad battery. Um, one of the other ones we have also is the failing hard drive here. So what's the smart status? I'm just looking for a failure status. So pretty straightforward. You know, I've got another interesting one here. Computers that might be slow to boot, for example. Well, if it takes you five minutes to boot up the lap, or your computer, whether it's a laptop or desktop, chances are there's something else really, really wrong with that client device. Even though your user hasn't reported it to you, chances are there's something really uh, wrong and IT needs to take a deeper look at, those, uh, at that particular client device. So that's just some of the items that allow you to be a little bit more proactive. Great. That concludes today's session and we look forward into you joining us in future sessions.